हेलो व्यूअर्स वेलकम टू यू टी फंक्शनल टेस्टिंग वीडियोस माय सेल्फ उदय इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो रिलेटेड टू वर्किंग विथ विंडोज फाइल हैंडलिंग सिस्टम वेयर आई डिमोनस्ट्रेटेड अबाउट हाउ टू वर्क विथ फोल्डर्स एंड फाइल्स राइट वेयर आई कैन क्रिएट फोल्डर्स वेयर आई कैन क्रिएट फाइल्स वेयर आई कैन कॉपी फाइल्स फ्रॉम वन लोकेशन टू डिफरेंट लोकेशंस वेयर आई हैव डिमोनस्ट्रेटेड अबाउट हाउ टू एक्सेस डिफरेंट मेथड्स ऑफ फाइल ऑब्जेक्ट फोल्डर ऑब्जेक्ट राइट in this video i would like to demonstrate about how to write content into a text file and how to read the content from that text file all right this can be done into two different approaches i can say here like one using create text file and open that file as a text stream and the other option is directly opening like you know create and open that uh, file as a uh, using open text file method all right so let me go through this script all right what i am doing here is i am just creating a file system object and uh, i am checking whether that file exists or not if doesn't exist it will create a text file all right here true means whether do i need to overwrite it or not if that file is doesn't exist uh, if it's already exists then it will overwrite that file all right once i have this file system uh, file object what i am uh, what i am doing here is i am getting that uh, file object all right with that file object uh, whatever the country as you can see here this file doesn't uh, object doesn't have any methods related to writing or reading content from that file all right so the reason being we have to open uh, like you know use this object and open that file as a text stream right for that what you need to do is use object file dot open as a text stream right and this is the mode uh, when i say mode what does it mean is uh, like whether you would like to uh, use that text stream for writing or reading or for appending for reading it is one you need to specify it as one there all right and for writing you have to specify as two all right for appending uh, you have to use eight there all right so when i say like what does it append mean says if you already have some text all right at the end of that text it will write the whatever the string or any text all right so here i need to have two different objects one is for writing and one is for reading okay and what does that zero means is like the file can be unicode uh, the file can be is in unicode format or in ascii format all right so when i when i say zero what will happen is it will take the default file system of the operating system all right so he with this uh write test stream object i am writing some content in it when i say write line what will happen is it will write the content at the end it will append a new line character whereas write just write this thing which doesn't end with new line all right so once i write all the content i need to close that object using close method all right so after that i need i want to read that text content from that file for that what i am doing is with that the same file object i open this stream for reading because of that i put it here as one all right now with this read stream object till i reach my end of line i want to read line by line right for that what i need to use is this uh, write stream object dot read line will read one line at a time all right for then uh, once after uh, in the first iteration it will read the first line after that because that is not the here as you can see we have three lines of text right so it will go to the it will loop to the next time at the time once it is not end of stream and after that it will loop once again at the time it will reaches the end of stream and it comes out of that loop all right so let me execute it and show you how it works all right so as you can see here let me debug it uh, this file does not exist so it will create it 
and I am getting this file object. All right. Here I am uh, creating one object for writing and one object for reading. Okay. With this write object, what I am doing is I am writing hello. Okay. As you can see now, the file would have been created and hello is written into it. All right. Now I will say hello. What will happen is hello will be written here. Uh, how how is written here and after that are you and I am doing good these two lines of code will be created after that I am closing that write stream objects by this time we should have all these three lines of code here whatever the text that was mentioned there that will be written into this text file all right now with this reading stream object I am reading line by line now see so as you can see print print statement what it prints it reads the first line okay and it will go to the next iteration when I say re-execute once again it will print the second line how are you as you can see here the second line content will be how are you here all right now at the same time I am using uh, like you know another print statement to print this third line also so now because we reached end of stream now it should come out of that loop all right as uh, as i mentioned it just comes out of that loop and completes the rest of the thing all right that is how we will write the content and read read the content from the text file okay this is one way of doing it and the other way is other way of doing is directly using open text file many people will use like you know it is up to them it is all like whatever best suits for them they can use whatever method best suits all right so here what i am doing here the same way right i am just uh, first i am i want to write content into it all right after that i want to read the content here also we need to create two objects all right so first i am checking whether the file exists or not if that file doesn't exist uh, so open text file what it will have is okay let me show you the each individual okay dot open text file here the file name whatever the file name that you want to uh, where you want to write it so I am mentioning it as file name and the second parameter is mode as I mentioned here, the same modes will apply here. One for reading, two for writing, eight for appending. So I would first I want to write it right. So I am mentioning it as a two. Okay, create. Uh, create. When you say create, what will happen is if that file doesn't exist, if you mention it as a true, it will create the file. This is very important. Uh, be, uh, just observe this point. What does it true means is if the file does not exist already when it is true then it will create it when it false it will not create that method and as mentioned here in 0 0 is for the default whatever the windows default file system that will be the file will be created in that format all right in if the file does not exist like uh, if the file is already exists i just want to write and i don't want to create it okay so in my write file object i am writing whatever the content i have mentioned here in the same way it will write like write line write and after that i am closing that object all right after that as you can see here i am op i am using the same open text file all right with the file where the mode is one so when i say one it is for reading right so this object is for reading the content from that uh, from the same text file I am looping it till end of the file right the same line of the same logic here let me execute it here uh, so I am del deleting the content to make sure that again we are writing content into it all right as you can see 10 all right because this file doesn't exist it uh, it will create the text file right now this file is created now i am writing some content into it here as you can see this content will be written into that file right like that i am writing three lines of code after that closing this object all right 
so as we can see here three lines of code is written into that file now i am opening like you know i am opening the file uh, that i am storing this in read file object as you can see print the first the first line of that content uh, uh, content from that file will be printed the same way now second line of the content uh, like uh, second line of the content will be printed and now the third line of the content will be printed right that is how we will be like uh, that is the logic to traverse uh, traverse to the file to read the content from a file right so in order to based on like you know uh, uh, needs you need to create uh, for example uh, you you need to just write some content in it so for that sake you just need to create one object okay for example say there are some files which are already created in your system that you just need to read it so at that time you just need to use the uh, you need to create a single object for reading it all right once you create this object you can traverse like you know you can traverse by you can read the entire content like you know this method will have the entire content read all will read the entire content of that file all right so you can use the different methods with this like you can skip some lines and uh, you can create some uh, blank lines here like that you can use whatever the methods associated with this object all right uh, uh that's all pretty much in this video i think i have covered uh, uh, all the content like how to read and write uh, from the file all right thanks a lot for watching this video please leave your comments about video thank you